today we are going to discuss about integers so what is the integers when you subtract some of the terms are coming negatively 25 minus 35 which is big number here 35 okay and 25 is less than 35 so if we subtract these two terms we get minus 10 so here we are seeing that the minus 10 is coming so this is the introduce of the integers in a number line These are the positive side and these are the negative side. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Similarly, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. So what is the integer? All the positive number, all the negative number, all the positive number, all the negative number, along with zero, along with zero is called integers. That means all the numbers, whatever you think, any number, minus or plus, this is a integer. So, that means these are called positive integers and these are called negative integers. So minus 10 is the negative integers. Okay. So Positive integer is also called non-negative integer and negative integer is also called non-positive integer. Now, see that in view of this number line, we can say which number is greater than or less than. If 0 is a middle number, so, 0 is always less than 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Similarly, there minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. So, that means minus 4 is less than minus 3 because the distance here, firstly from 0, we are firstly taking the minus 3, then minus 4. So, minus 3 is greater than minus 4. Similarly, minus 1 is greater than minus 4. Because minus 1 is much closer to 0 than minus 4. That's why we can say that. Minus 1 is greater than minus 4. Similarly, for some different examples, we can say that minus 45 is less than minus 20. Minus 100 is less than minus 1. Like that. Okay. So, when the numbers close to 0, this is greater than other negative numbers. Now, some different uh, connective numbers we are using for the negation or daily life. See that in your copy or any page, you always use this figure for denoting the sides. So, it means east, west, north, 
south. That means the opposite of east is west, the opposite of north is south. Similarly, vice versa. So, if I am saying 60 kimi east, that means in negation you have to say 60 kimi west. Okay. You have to say 60 kimi west. If I am saying 40 kimi north, sorry, south, then you have to say the negation 40 kimi north. Okay. This is the different type of changing. Okay. Changing the direction. Positive direction and negative direction. Okay. Now, see that. Absolute value. This is very important. Absolute value. So, what is absolute value? Absolute value means the value of an integer is its numeral value regardless of its sign. That means minus 6 within this 2 bar, that means this 2 bar is called mod sign. Okay. In higher class, you learn that this 2 bar is called mod sign. When you are taking the mod of any number, then we get always positive. Okay, that means the mod or absolute value of minus 6 is 6. Similarly, if you take positive number 10, the 10 value always, the 10 mod value is 10. That means whatever number you take in mod or absolute value, this always gives positive value. Okay, always gives positive value. Similarly, the 0 gives 0. So, an important thing this is, in absolute value, in absolute value, normally we, can, we are seeing that if integers, then minus 5 is greater than minus 9. Okay. Minus 5 is greater than minus 9. Why? Because minus 5 is very much closer to 0 than minus 9. But for absolute value, if we take then minus 5 mod is less than minus 9. Why? Because mod of or absolute value of minus 5 is 5 and absolute value of minus 9 is 9. So, 5 is less than 9. So, when you are taking the absolute value of any negative sign, then this is, is changing. This changing have to mind it. Okay. So, when you are normal write the integers, this condition and when you are writing in the absolute value, this is a different. Okay. Now, now we are going to the exercise. Now, see that in exercise 3a, one l one gain of rupees ninety. You have to write the opposite of the following statement. Gain means profit. Then loss of rupees 90. This is the opposite, okay? Number 3, see that 200 meter due west. 200 meter due west. That means 200 meter due east. In number 5, see that 10 degrees Celsius below freezing point. Below freezing point. That means 10 degrees Celsius 
above freezing point. Next number seven. See that below average. Below average. Opposite above average. So above average. Next number eight. In number eight, you see that gaining of weight, gaining a weight of one kilo. This is very easy. Gaining a weight of one kilo. That means losing a weight of one kilo. In number nine, see that depositing rupees five hundred in a bank. Deposit and opposite is withdrawn. So withdrawn rupees five hundred in a bank. In number nine, plus forty five. Opposite is minus forty five. Okay. And number eleven is given minus fifty. So opposite is plus fifty. Okay. So minus fifty. Opposite is plus fifty. Now next one. In number two, see that indicate the following using negative sign. So it's given an increase of eight. So a decrease. Of minus eight. Okay. Next number three. Spending rupees seven two five. Now the opposite is saving. Spending. This is saving. So saving. Rupees minus seven two five seven minus rupees seven two five. Next number four. In four, see that fifty three meter below sea level. That means minus fifty three meter above sea level. Okay. So these type of things you have to do. Okay, you have to express with the negative sign. Spending that means no saving. So saving minus seven to five. Fifty three meter below sea level. That means minus. Fifty-three meter from the above of the sea level. Just we have to write the negatively in the sentence. Now next one. In number three, see that write all integers between three and ten. So three and ten. So we are using number line here. So write, draw the number line first. This is zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It's so on, but I'm writing just three to ten because the number is given three and ten. So three and ten. So you have to write the all integers between three and ten. So the numbers are numbers are four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Number three. In number three, there are seven minus seven and zero. So this is zero. So only minus given. So that's why we are using only the minus part. The plus given, both are plus. That's why you are using only plus. 
okay when the minus and plus both are given then you have to use both the part okay so see that 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 okay so now minus 7 and 0 here the minus 7 and here the 0 so write the numbers here so minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 so these are the numbers okay this is the integers between the minus 7 and 0 now in number 6 in number 6 see that minus 8 and 4 so 4 and minus 8 so you have to draw up to minus 8 and in right hand side up to 4 so this is the 0 I am taking here so 1 2 3 4 you can take 5 you can take 6 whatever but you have to touch the number 4 and you have to touch the number minus 8 so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 so minus 8 is there and 4 is there so all the numbers between that are the integers that means minus 7 minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 okay so all the numbers are the integers belongs to minus 4 and 8 okay now next one in number 4 see that write 7 integers each greater than minus 6 so first we draw the number line so this is 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on so you have to write 7 integers each greater than minus 6 so the all the numbers are here are greater than minus 6 you can choose any from any 7 from them okay so you can write minus 5 minus 3 minus 1 0 2 3 5 see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 all the numbers all the numbers are greater than minus 6 all the numbers are greater than minus 6 okay note it down already now in number 5 see that fill in the blanks by using less than greater than or equal to in each on each of the following so in first see that minus 5 dash 3 so which is the bigger here 3 so you are using less than or greater than sign here no equal to sign is there so this is 3 is greater than okay uh, 5 minus 5 is less than 3 next one minus 8 dash minus 14 which one big minus 8 so this is greater than minus 1 dash minus 12 so similarly minus 1 is greater than because minus 1 is much closer to 0 than minus 12. Next 9 is greater than minus 1 because 9 is a positive number. Similarly minus 9 is less than minus 1 because minus 1 is much closer to 0 than minus 9. Okay. So that's all for the today. And rest of the work are homework. Okay. Thank you all. Take care. Bye-bye.